Hello everybody, this is your boy Mega Amster here. Hello. And, yeah, so, this is, uh, oof, I'm stepping on my paper! Oh, okay, this is, uh, my first unboxing for the channel. Well, is it really? Well, here's the thing, because if some of you are new to this channel, like, see, I got rid of a bunch of old videos I had a while ago, I don't know if you've know, known about that. Uh, and I had a lot of uh, Amiibo unboxings and reviews of them. I did like, I reviewed like, I reviewed pretty much all of them, I think. I did Amiibo training for a lot of them. But, yeah, that was a while ago. Those videos are gone from everywhere. I don't even have them on my hard drive anymore or anything on my laptop. They're all gone. So, I figured I wanted to do unboxings at some point. I was thinking, oh, if I ever get an Amiibo, another Amiibo, you know, then I'd uh, do another unboxing. And... Well, here we go. Another unboxing. Number one. We got two subjects here. We got, uh, first of all, we've got Mario Maker right here. Knew that was going to happen. And then we have the Splatoon Inkling. So, the main, the main star of the show is Mario Maker right here. Just came out on Friday, which was four days ago from this point. And, yeah, it cost me 60 bucks. Uh, a lot of people have been saying it might not be worth it, but a lot of people have been. I think it's worth it be just because, like, the online functionality and, like, there's so many possibilities for creating levels. And th it's going to be going on for a while. Play, create, and share. So, let's look at this uh, cover art first. We got Builder Mario, Super Mario Maker. I like how they changed it to Super Mario Maker instead of, like, back when it was just regular Mario Maker. So as you can see here, we got some examples of what you can do. There's the hand that has the stylus controlling the warp pipe. You got a, a blooper coming out of a warp pipe. You got a couple of Bowsers and a Boo and a mushroom with wings. And yeah, a lot of different enemies and items. And it even says there's an idea book included, which I'm going to show off. If you look at the back, it says anyone can make it, everyone can play it. And it shows the different game styles, the original Mario Bros, Mario Bros 3, Super Mario World, and Super Mario Bros U. And you can see the different themes across here. And it says play, take on crazy pre-made courses, create, if you can dream it, you can make it, and share, discover endless courses online. So those are the three, those are like the three things really of this game. And, but it's, it is a very, very, Interesting, I'll say. A lot of content, even though it doesn't seem like a lot for 60 bucks, it, it is. There's a lot of controller support, as you can see. Obviously, you need a gamepad to uh, edit levels. And amiibo functionality, which is one of my favorite parts of the game, because the Sonic costume looks amazing. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, I don't want to be too rough with the box. Uh, uh, let's see here. Is there, like, tape or something? No, there's no tape. There's no tape on this thing. Oh, there we go. Ah, I see. Oh crap, I'm already, <laughs> I'm already caused a little bent in it. Okay, whatever. Uh, okay, open that up. And the reason they have this is because of the idea book. So here's the game itself. Like, you know, a regular game disc. It's red. It's like a Mario Kart 8, which is the, uh, the red case. I don't know if there are any other uh, Wii U games that are like that. Hold on. I'm going to get some scissors. Ah, oh, no scissors! Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Scissors to the rescue. Make this a little easier and faster. Cut. Don't play with scissors, kids. You can cut yourself. You can get wrecked. And, yeah. Open it up. We have the disc here. Really nice detail on the disc. Uh, showing off different things, like... How enemies and coins come to cannons, the clown car you can ride, Bowser Jr. on top of regular Bowser, uh, Mushroom with Wings, Blooper out of the pipe, Piranha Plant the Cloud Car, the helmet that you can have, just stacking enemies in general, Yoshi. And there's the electronic manual, which I don't think really anybody cares about. But yeah, so that's the game. And we still have the idea book. This is really cool, it's a little, little booklet. I'm not going to show it all off, but you got some, uh, you know, just standard Mario. Let's just skip through here. Oh, there's a little castle that somebody drew. And a cat paw. Oh, that cat's hurting Mario. What are you doing? 
Oh, look at this. It's like a coin maze with some a lot of question mark blocks. And here, I don't know what the dog is. is. That the dog eraser guy? Probably is. There's a drawn mushroom right there, I guess. Uh, what else? Conveyor belts with Koopa, Koopa Chopas, and some of those other ones got. You got weird ice blocks and clouds and like a dungeon. That's weird. That's weird. Okay, some pretty cool drawing of Builder Mario. Concept art. Yeah. Some crossed off numbers. I don't know what that's supposed to stand for. Uh, you got more concept art in here. Look at that. And yeah, all this. I'm not going to show it all off, but you know, like, these are all different things in the game. And it's, it's really cool how they give you an idea. Wait, what the? What was that? Oh, that's that's when you get that weird mushroom, right? I forgot about that. That's so weird. And you know, then uh, and I got all these pages and just yeah. Oh, there's hold on. I gotta see this. I gotta see this. Look at this. Look at this. That's great. Okay. Well, yeah, that's pretty much the idea book. Uh, pretty pretty interesting stuff and unique stuff in there. It's great. So I'm gonna be playing this. Um. I might actually record, I keep hitting the camera, crap, or the tripod even. Uh, I'm gonna, I might even record some of the levels I make. I don't know about levels, me, like me playing. I'll add this to the hat of mystery once I've played enough of it. And then I'll probably do like online levels of it that other people made and show them off. Give them some love. Yeah, and there's the case and everything. That's, this is all the, that's all the Super Mario Maker stuff. Uh, I'd recommend go get in this game because this game looks great. It's a big new thing for, from Nintendo, 30th anniversary for Super Mario Brothers, yay. And second thing we're going to be unboxing is the Splatoon Inkling bo Ugh. Boy Amiibo. So here we go, you can see the concept art Inkling Boy. And then you got, there's the actual figurine, Amiibo logo. Now, I've wanted to get these Splatoon ones for a while. I actually didn't find out that the GameStop I was going to uh, had this until today when I looked earlier this morning. I'm like, oh, they have an Inkling Boy. I'm getting that. And sure enough, they had one left. Complete uh, Splatoon Amiibo Challenge to get exclusive in-game gear. Ooh, and you got that samurai outfit. Ready to test your skills? Ready to get inked? Okay. Now, unlike other people, I'm not going to be careful with this. I'm just going to rip it right off because I don't save this. I get rid of that thing. Why? Because I don't... I don't know. If I buy the product, I'm, I'm paying 13 bucks for this. I might as well use the figurine inside. If I can get it out. There we are. Boom. 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 Get that thing out. There we go. Here we are. The Inkling Boy. Uh, as you can see here. Pretty detailed. Obviously the boy has that interesting hairstyle right there. And you got, look at that, uh, that splatter shot, the detail on that's really nice. Uh, two things I really like about this. First of all, the ink tank. The fact that they actually put some ink in there with like a little cap mark on it, that's pretty sick. And the second thing, how the base has like ink on it, so it looks like they're stepping in ink. It's really interesting. I'll let you guys look at that a little, in a little more detail. Like that. That is the Inkling Boy. Pretty, uh... Pretty interesting stuff. Now, I'm going to be doing this. I'm not going to record doing the uh, missions for this guy, but I'm definitely going to be doing the missions. Unlock some cool gear. Maybe if I ever record Splatoon again, you'll guys see me in some cool gear from this amiibo. But before we end this video off, uh, first of all, uh, my overall opinions of this amiibo, really nice. Hands down, one of my best looking amiibo right now. Maybe someday I can get the Inkling Girl. I'm not going to bother getting a three pack with the squid if I just have these guys already. Three packs so hard to find now, but. Uh, yeah, before I end the video off, I'm going to add the Inkling Boy to my Amiibo collection. Let's see what we got. Uh, we got, oh, yeah, there's my little pieces of paper with uh, the games I'm playing. So, you know, you see Toon Link, Sheik, Pac Man, Link, regular Link, Bowser, Samus, Kirby, Sanic, Mario. Pikachu, Mega Man, Yoshi, and Silver Mario. So we'll, we'll just throw the inkling on right at the end. And boom. Those are my 12 amiibo right there. Pretty nice looking stuff. Especially this guy. That guy's like, bruh. But yeah, so that's it. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, 
like and like this video if you enjoy this uh and subscribe if you if you want to see more content like this i don't know how often i'll do these unboxings whenever i get something like maybe a new game or i get a maybe if i get like another amiibo if i get another amiibo i'll definitely do one of these unboxings but uh i don't know when that'll be because some of the amiibo right now are really hard to find but yeah, that's pretty much it, so thanks again, and I will see you tomorrow for Battlefront Part 4 if you want to watch that. And thanks for watching again. Bye!